for joining us. I'm Kyla Scott. And I'm Stephen Pappas. Our top story tonight, the looming threat of a city shutdown has finally passed for the town of Richwood after the town council approved its budget today. NBC 10's Valerie Maravi was at the town meeting and joins us in the studio with the very latest. Well, the town of Richwood held a special meeting early this evening where three members of the board agreed to move forward to adopt this budget. These were claps of joy after members of the board officially adopted the 2022-2023 fiscal year budget. We're very appreciative that aldermen came together and supported this budget because it not only had meaning for the, um, the employees because we were not getting paid, but also more so for the town. I'm excited. I'm relieved. I'm happy. I'm ready to, to get to work. The total budget approved is $1.6 million. Mayor Gerald Brown says the adoption of this budget will go towards infrastructure improvements and the overdue maintenance of the town. Some sewer things, some things with the police department, vehicles wise, uh, those are some things that we'll, we'll begin tomorrow so that we can make sure that we're do, taking care of the business of the town and its people, protecting them, making sure that they're safe. The town of Ridgewood was a recipient of an American Rescue Plan grant, but it was unable to be utilized due to the failing budget. Brown says part of the budget approved tonight was a plan on how to spend those funds to improve the town. We want to uh, try to contract with uh, some engineers to look at some projects in terms of drainage, sewer, roads, that we can use some of that infrastructure money, those dollars that we've got allocated to that. Uh, they pay us to do a job, and so we want to make sure that they understand that we're, we take it seriously. Now, Mayor Brown says the town will still be working on the next budget in the next few, day, few weeks. <laughs> Reporting live in the studio, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Oklahoma's News Source. All right, thank you very much, Valerie. Out of Arkansas this evening, a Washtenaw County.